ex-gombad no Mundial Profissional de Jiu-Jitsu. Estou aqui com Yasser Alkobash, General Coordinator of the UJJ Federation. Uh, how do you feel about this, the event of this year? I feel that each, each year became bigger and bigger. Uh, how, do, how do you feel about that and what's the, the plan for the future? Well, thank you guys for coming again to UAE and to Abu Dhabi to cover the event and to show to the world and to Brazil and to the Jiu-Jitsu world, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu world, how the Jiu-Jitsu is uh, developing here in UAE. Um, the, it's the different from last year. We saw today Marcos Almeida took uh, first on the open weight on the black belt. He managed to beat Rodolfo Vieira, three times champion. Also Gar Garcia also won today, fourth year on our all for the world champion and a gold medalist. So the level is also high. Today we saw uh, Joao or uh, Miao today was disqualified from uh, as a referee decided or judging. So it's a beautiful day today, last day, open weights, level are good. Our local champions took six gold medalists. So it's a very nice as organizing, as level and as atmosphere, we are happy. Yeah, I, I, can, I believe now that, the, the that we can see that the investment that you guys do in the last years, we now getting like some flowers, like a tree. You, you grow, you grow, and now you, you start to have the, the first fruits of the tree yes. because you still have, start to have some local champions. Uh, you believe that the, in next years, uh, because at this, the, at this momentum, Brazil and US have the, the biggest fighters. Yes. But in how many years you think that you age, you be together? Well, hopefully, but we are targeting to be like as USA and Brazil, even Europe, because in European Championship, IBJJF, they have like 2,000 players. Uh -huh. And Pan America's 3,000 players. Yeah. So we're trying to reach to that level, like 3,000 players come to Abu Dhabi to play. And like in maybe in the next two years, we're going to reach to that level. And we need to show the award and to show to the player that uh, you can win in Abu Dhabi and to give them the time to get the medal, to show them like you are the champion. Because I believe in other jiu-jitsu tournaments, the player, did, he doesn't have the chance on the award ceremony. People see who's the champion. It's just the players. But you can see fan coming here, uh, people on TV because Abu Dhabi Sport Channel, they are covering the whole global. Like a guy who lives in Sao Paulo, he can see us here in Abu Dhabi, see his cousins, see his friends winning in Abu Dhabi. So this is what we're going to show to the people, like we have 2,000 players here in Abu Dhabi in a couple of next years, in the future, near future also, not like far future, to reach to the level of the States or Brazil. And talk about the best player, the best local player, Faisal. Yes. Uh, say something about him. Faisal, thank you, first of all. You made us happy, you made uh, the royal family happy and uh, we are very proud of him he's our future f uh, champion he's our future black belt uh, future master and he's going in, in the right way in your experience because you are more experienced than uh, than me in the jiu-jitsu world what do you think about Faisal because he's going today he lost against one of the meows yeah. and he did a very nice fight he didn't lose easily but meow is a big star in the jiu-jitsu world also he lost against one of the big fighters also from Brazil but inshallah he will find his way through uh, in the future he's doing well what happened with, with Faisal against Miao today I remember many years ago maybe more than 20 when Hickson Grace fight in Japan Open at the time that guys at MMA fight three times a day to be a, to be the champion yes. and remember he make a, a, he do the final against the Japanese who is very very light he's lighter than him like at least 20 kilos or something and the guy is almost blind because they have some problems in the eyes in the semi-final the the, the oppon opponent Almost, and he became blind after. But at that moment, he put something in the eyes and fight against Hickson. And the guy is skinny with one eye and came in like that. I remember the coach, Hickson coach, came to him, Hickson, he, this is the worst fighter you 
uh, uh, opponent you have in your life because maybe you you be like this so and maybe the guy and yeah he might then he so gay to him doesn't care and, and beat him you think that happened the same with Faisal? Maybe he go with Miao because Miao is too small and he go too slowly no, no, and this no, no, because no. he lost? Faisal, no. Faisal knows who's Miao and he knows the level of Miao because Miao is a very talented guy. He's very flexible guy and a strong guy. He knows Miao who's Miao because he never met him in European Championship or in Pan Americas or maybe in Brazil. He didn't meet him. But if he meets him, he knows what level he's in front of him. He didn't estimate, like he didn't play easily with Miao because he knows who's Miao. Uh, I believe last year in Purple Belt he beat one of the Miao's, uh, Joao Miao, he beat him in Purple Belt Absolute, but his brother Faisal knows who's uh, Paulo Miao, he knows him. Okay, uh, yeah. we, want to, we want to give you like a, a present for the ex-combat event in, in Brazil. To give like a thank you, thank okay. you, thank you very much. Okay, appreciate it. Okay, I'm thank really happy you guys here in Abu Dhabi to show to the world about Jiu Jitsu in Abu Dhabi. Thank you very much. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.